Hi, I'm Jen from Online Fabric Store. Lace is a pretty fabric to wear, and today I'm going to show you how to make a lace top using a stretch lace and spandex for lining. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are one yard of stretch lace. I'm using white stretch lace fabric, one yard of six ounce white poly spandex fabric, fabric scissors, thread, ballpoint pins, and ballpoint needles. First, fold the spandex in half. Place the center front of the lining pattern to the fold line and pin on all four sides. Place the center back of the lining to the fold line and pin. Then cut out both pattern pieces. Fold the lace in half and place the center front pattern to the fold line and pin. Do the same for the center back pattern. Cut both pattern pieces out. Place the sleeve pattern so that it's horizontal to the lace. Pin all around and cut. First, remove all the pins from the pattern pieces. Place the front lining on top of the front blouse. Make sure the sides are lined up. Do the same for the back lining and the back blouse. Take the sides of each and pin them together. The lace should be on the inside. For a zigzag stitch, make sure the settings are set at 2.5 millimeters in length and 3.5 millimeters in width. Zigzag stitch with a 1 inch seam allowance starting an inch down from the top and leaving 1 inch at the end. Do this for both sides. Pin and stitch the shoulders together using a half inch seam allowance. Back stitch at the beginning and the end. Fold the top of the lining over a half inch twice and pin. Continue this until you've reached the end. Then straight stitch with a half inch seam allowance. For a straight stitch on this fabric, set your machine to 4 millimeters in length and 5 millimeters in width. Back stitch at the beginning and the end. Pin one end of the sleeve to the bottom of the armhole. Continue to pin all around until you reach the end. Straight stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Back stitch at the beginning and the end. Pin the side of the sleeve and stitch with a half inch seam allowance. To finish the edges, fold the fabric over a half inch twice and pin. Stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Back stitch at the beginning and the end. Do the same for the other sleeve. Fold the fabric over a half inch twice and pin.
Stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Backstitch at the beginning and the end. With the blouse inside out, trim the lace down on the inside. Then fold the edges of the spandex in a half inch and pin together. Straight stitch from top to bottom. Backstitch at the beginning and the end. Do this for both sides. For the armholes, fold the lace over a quarter inch and pin. Straight stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. Backstitch at the beginning and the end. Do this for both sides. Fold the lace over a half inch twice and pin. Straight stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Back stitch at the beginning and the end. Repeat this step for the spandex. Your lace blouse is now complete. Stretch lace works best for a great fit, but mesh fabric works well too. Thanks for watching this OFS project.